I would not be comfortable in that sort of situation, but you know, whatever. We're getting another level, so that's nice. Uh, we got the the Vindicator battle rifle, which is pretty memes. Got some like tech damage thing. Nice. Well, we pretty much made all our credits back that we spent on the sniper rifle upgrade, so that's nice. And um, we found like 500 element zero, which isn't really that much, but oh well. Oh well, it's something I suppose. Every little helps. But yeah, I think we're done on Omega for now. I guess we could go back and show Aria the random data, pa data pad that we found, but we don't need to j just yet because I'm Man, pretty sure we need to go back we there anyway. The, Garris, but he took a bad hit. the doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. As best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... And he's back. <laughs> Tough son. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Ah, it's fine, mate. Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Nice babe. His armor looks pretty roughed up, though. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Oh, of course. Nice meme. Alright, I figure we may as well use this opportunity to go and have a, a chat with our new crew. So we'll, we'll go and do that. Hi, how you doing? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with the budget. AI in particular, very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Nice. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Nice meme. Nice meme. He's making fun of us. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I met Kirihi. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Wow. Well, yeah. What a guy. Uh, reason for studies. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. 
needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sure. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility play. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Well, okay then. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Oh, he sounds like he's settled in already. So that's good, I suppose. Let's have a look, see if we can actually do any of these. Uh, no, we need a bunch of, like, every demon stuff. Need to go probing some planets. Which I, I kind of don't want to do just yet. Have we got any messages? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course we have. Let's go and have a look. Cerberus command request. Uh, scan and plan for a base. Christmas. All right, nice. Things are quiet again. Uh, and this is from the Daniel person. I, I really don't want to read all of them because I'm crap at reading stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I think we need to go downstairs for Garrus. Uh, we should talk to Zaid as well, actually. While we can. Uh, Garrus and Miranda are down here, so we'll go and have a chat with them, I suppose. See if they have anything to say. Uh, I'm pretty sure Garrus is up in Just that area. Surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Nice being. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. You damn right. Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Responsibilities. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. Janitor and cook. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meal. Nice meme. I wash my hands most of the time. <laughs> this ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel, and I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. Well, well. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I, I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Well, at least he's got a personality, I suppose. That should be good for motivations. That's a nice meme. Alright, how are you doing, Garris? Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. 
You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. You were a thug. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Sounds like they got ripped pretty hard then. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Rip. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sidonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Sounds like that'll be a side mission later on in the game then. That's probably his like, loyalty mission that we need to do. And uh, Basically we do the loyalty missions so we don't fuck up in the in the end game, and no one dies, so hopefully that happens. All right. Commander, what can I do for you? What do you have to say? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man, and I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. I knew he would continue to pursue his... investments. I assume that Cerberus approved of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. 
and I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. You're welcome, mate. Who exactly is your father? A businessman, but a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Pretty sure we just heard Maybe. this. I like to know where I fit in the world. Nice to meet boys. Me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just got tricked into saying that again. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Well then. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Alright, well, at least she's sort of opening up. Maybe we should have a look in the med bay. We've not talked to Dr. Chuckwood yet. Hi. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. All right, then. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she talks more in this game, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But we've got another little random side quest we can do. Yeah, so we'll, we'll probably get that done at some point. Where is this? Is there anything there? Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Well then. That would women's restroom. Let's go, boys. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Nah, don't worry about it, mate. They're, they're not very uh, segregated, these, are they? And there's like a clear view into here. 
This isn't a very good toilet. And the showers there. Nice. Nice meme. I love how they put toilets in though. It's top cake. Alright. Let's go and talk to Zaid, I suppose. And then maybe we'll go and see uh, if Joker has anything to say. Because I'm pretty sure he has more to say in this game. We've got to find Zaid though. Because I've actually no idea where he usually... Oh, there he is. Well, that was 